Hi everyone, I have here another fun, a simple, um, quick project to share with you guys. It's using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. I have done other projects with this punch board in some of my other previous videos and I just think this is such a versatile tool that you can create so many projects other than just uh, your envelopes. So I've got here one of these projects here that I made and um, it's really, really easy. It's a screen divider card. So it folds out like this, and then it looks like a screen divider. Um, I'm trying to find with the camera, so that's how it looks like. Um, so you can get two of these projects out of one piece of uh, 12 by 12 paper, um, and this one here measures three inches by five and a quarter by five and a half, sorry. And then I also made another one here. And this one here is slightly taller. This one here measures three inches by six inches. So either side, you can still get two of these kind of projects out of one piece of tall by tall. So as you can see, the height difference isn't that much, but all depends on how high you want your screen divider. So um, it makes a great display. It's also a a nice project if you wanted to make it into a flip book style, or if you wanted to give it to someone as a card, and then you can just write your uh, your message here on the back of the screen divider so um, yeah I'm going to show you how to make one but I'll just quickly show you the, each of the panels so this one here I use an ornate uh, die oval die to create this mirror image background and that was just using some silver foil cardstock and then the next panel I've got a smaller shape of that same set to make another mirror there and this is just a dress form die, I think it's by Memory Box, and then I just paper pieced the dress form. And her skirt here, I used a Stampin' Up! 2.5 inch scallop circle punch to create the skirt. And I just cut the um, cut the, some of the piece out to make the skirt. And this here is another oval shape uh, scallop die that I have in my stash, and then I just embossed it with... Um, a dotted shape embossing folder and then the next panel again just using some of my dies to make a handbag and shoe and this is a stamp shape die and this is just another of those dress form like that one just a different pattern skirt so that's how it looks like and then you just close it up like that and then you can have it displayed that way or any way you like so that's that one and this one here is the three by six inches so that's another dress another lady die that I have in my stash and I just kept this one simple I just embellished that panel and then I added another lady die and paper pieced her with a pink glitter cardstock paper and then the next panel I've just um, embellished that with a message sentiment and just another lady die so that's that one so again, it's, it's another very pretty, pretty um, project. So I'll just quickly show you the die before I show you the how to make it. So this is the oval shape ornate die set. And it came with two. So it's a nice, fairly big size for the large one. And then you get the smaller size here as well. So that's that one. And this is the dress form um, from the first project that I showed you, which was that one. So that's that one here. I'll put the links down below if I remember or if I have the uh, links still and I'll put them down below. And this is the lady die, that's this one here. All right, so I'm just going to show you how to make it. I don't know if I mentioned it, but you can get two of these projects out of one piece of 12 by 12. So what we need to do is you just need to cut your paper at, uh, we'll make the, we'll make the, but the higher one and then you can just decide what height you want yours but we'll make this size so you'll need your cardstock and you need to cut your cardstock at 6 inches by 12 inches and then all you have to do is just score it at every 3 inches if you don't have a scoreboard just make a mark at 3 inches 6 inches and 9 inches and once you've got your um, paper scored or folded Oh, sorry, scored. You're just going to accordion fold it with the left side folding up, and then your next fold going back, and then your next one going forward. So you'll have 
like an M shape or a W shape. So you want to make sure that that one folds open. And then what we do is you grab your envelope punch board and on the top part here, on this side here, we're just going to slide that under and we're going to slide the edge of your paper onto the edge of that notch, the green part just there. And then we're going to press down. So then you'll have that shape. And then we're going to move over to your um, score line that you folded. And we're going to slide that score line underneath and we want to place it in the middle of the silver notch that you have inside. So you want to slide that score line, eyeballing it just to the middle there. And we're going to press down on that. And then you should have that sort of U-shaped curve sitting at the center. And then we're going to repeat that same step with all the other fold lines that you've got. So we're placing that in the center and press down, sliding that over and do it again with your last score line. And we press that. And then we'll get to that last one here and we're going to slide that over on onto the edge of the um, the green part here, just like that, and then we're just going to press that. And that will create your top part. So that's the shape you'll get. And then we're just going to turn this upside down now. And what we're going to do here is we're going to, um, sorry, I just forgot where we've got to go with that one. Okay, so we are going to line this fold line onto the edge of the, um, where the part we put, I'll just bring this out to show you. So you want to line your score line onto the edge of here, just there. So, so it's sort of where the one inch mark is just there. Now we're going to press that down and then you're going to have it like that. Then we're going to move over to this score line and we're going to move this score line onto this edge here. So we're going to move that score line just onto the edge there and we're going to press that down. So then that's the shape you'll have. So it'll look like a W. We're going to do that the same with the next score um, fold line, placing that fold line onto uh, the edge there, just below the one inch mark, and press that down. Then we're going to move this score line over to that edge there, and then we're going to press that, and then we're going to slide this over to the edge there as well, and press that. And then we're going to slide this corner one over here to that edge. Like that. And I did forget to do this side, so I'm just going to get you back over to this way. Sorry. Um, we're going to slide this end to the one inch mark. Sorry, I forgot to do that panel. And then we'll bring that score line over to this side here. And press it down. Alright, so you are going to have your pattern looking like that. So you look like you'll have a W, a W, a W and a W. And then we just grab some scissors and then we are going to cut out this um, mountain uh, mountain sort of shape there. We're going to cut from there to there. So just getting your scissors and just cutting a straight line till we get to there. So then you'll have that shape. And then we'll repeat that with the next panel. Just cutting that off, if we don't need that. And that will, will create your stand for the bottom of your screen. And then the next one. Oops. And then your last one. Okay. So flip it back over and then you'll get your screen divider shape and that's ready to for you to embellish or to create it into a flip book or um, a card or just keep it as a display so that's how you make that screen and I think it's another fun little project for you to make if you have the punch board so um, yes yeah, so I just want to share that with you another project with the um, 
free our memory cabers punch board. Um, hope you give it a go. And I have another project, uh, a quick little project to share with you again using this envelope punch board. And also I have the mini punch board as well with some projects to share with you. I don't have the punch board with me, but um, I will have that on my next video as well. So I hope to see you then. And please like the video if you like this um project and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber of mine and click the bell down below on your left hand side if you'd like to see more of my videos. Bye for now.